Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to fix the Java issue with the error message says unable to launch the application. So I'm gonna show you four ways to solve the issue. The first and most common way to solve the issue is upgrade to the latest version of Java application from this website. In some cases, you need to downgrade Java version to solve the issue. For some users, occasionally, they have to delete the temp files or cache files from Java version and then install the new one. And in rare case, like it happened for me, I had to repair cache or I had to recreate the Java file. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna show you from third and fourth option because all you know all users know how to upgrade the Java version, install the latest version, restart the computer, or first uninstall the current version, restart the computer, and install the latest version. The same for downgrade. But I'm going to show you a new method, delete the term cache files of Java. How you can do it? In two ways. Control panel Java console. First, I mentioned as A, and then we need to go we need to go C drive, users, user profile, whatever your username is, map data, local, sun, Java, deployment, cache. Let me show you. Here I'm in Windows 10. I'm gonna go control panel by here. And then I need to type Java. Oops. Okay. So let's open it up here from general tab. I need to open up settings section. Delete files, you need to make sure trace and log files, cache application and applets should be ticked and then you need to press OK. And also you need to make sure click on view from show bar, select applications and then delete resources. If there is some resources, you need to select all of them and press delete. Delete applications. You need to make sure nothing is here. All good. To close it up. And then you need to go C drive, users, user profile, app data, local, blah, blah, blah. blah. I need to delete these caches from these three different places, okay? And then I need to restart the laptop or computer, install and repair Java. If it's not fixed the issue, like none of these three methods works for me in one case, so I had to do this one. Log into another computer. Imagine you have a spare computer or Another available computer, you need to log into another computer and then launch the application that you know it's work fine. Then what you need to do is you need to just copy these files, see user data, user profile. Instead of here, you know that you need to enter your username, whatever it is. Then app data local some Java deployment. You need to copy these paths and then paste it to the laptop that had issue. Yeah, that's it. I'm sure you will fix this issue after this video. Please comment me and give your opinion. If you like this video, please press thumbs up. Have a good one.